What's up everyone, Matesh here and today I have something for you guys a little bit different. This isn't one of your typical weekend videos. To be honest with you guys, I just didn't have time this week to make one and I don't want to leave you guys hanging. So today I want to give you guys a preview of a new series that I'm starting called Tips Tuesdays. So this series is obviously going to come out on Tuesdays and what it's going to focus on is how to make better use of gadgets that we already may have. So one of the coolest things about gadgets these days is the fact that they get better over time. The fact is they get updated with new features and all that but the real issue is the companies don't put out like big advertisements to let everybody know that these features are out instead they just put up a blog post or something like that and most people unless you're reading those tech publications every day you don't know about these features so I want to bring a spotlight to those features and other features that are like buried deep inside of settings that you may want to turn on so with that in mind, today I have for you guys a new feature that Google Home just released and that is the ability to play back, to get playback through a Bluetooth speaker. So this is something that I complained about in my, in my original Google Home mini review is the fact that they didn't have this feature at the start, but they just added it and I'm going to show you guys how to turn it on. It's pretty simple, but it's a little unintuitive, so I just want to show you guys how to do it. So let's get started. All right, so to do this, we just need three total things. We need the Google Home, we need the Bluetooth speaker you want to connect to, and then we need a phone with the Google Home app on it. So the Bluetooth speaker that I'm using right here is the Omaker M4, if you guys are curious, and this is a really old speaker. And at this point, the speaker is a little bit busted, but it's the only one that I have to show off for you guys. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for a good Bluetooth speaker, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Um, but anyways, moving on, the first thing you need to do is to turn on the Bluetooth speaker and put it into pairing mode. So I'm just gonna turn this thing on. It's on and luckily for me, this thing's already in pairing mode. It's uh, You can see the light blinking right here. So the next thing you need to do is to go to the Google Home app and then, so if you guys can see, uh, there's this little button up here for the devices and then you'll see all your Chromecast and Google Home devices right here. And then you need to find the one that you're interested in connect pairing with. So I have this master bedroom speaker right here, which is this one. And what you need to do is to click on that three little dots up there and go into settings. And then once you're into settings, you need to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down until you get to this right here. This is the paired Bluetooth devices. And then underneath that is default music speaker. That's actually the one you're interested in. So you click on that and then you can see right at the top you have a new option to pair a Bluetooth speaker. So tap on that and then it'll start scanning for devices. It already saw the Blue Make Omaker M4 which is awesome. So I'm just going to click on that. So this will connect to it and it will also set it as your default speaker. So you can see it's connected now and it'll tell you at the bottom it's done. So now if I ask Google to play something, uh, mu some music or a podcast, it will now default to playing from the Bluetooth speaker right here. So let's go ahead and test it out. Play up first. Here's the latest news. And you can hear why I don't like using the speaker. You can already hear that. That. So you can still control the. Let me go ahead and pause this. So some of the cool things is you can still control play and pause from the Bluetooth speaker and control the volume from the Bluetooth speaker. So turn the volume to 50% and start playing. I can only help you with the first request. Play. And you can see it starts up right away. You can still control it with the buttons obviously on here on the Bluetooth speaker itself and you can also also control the volume and stuff from here to turn it down and up which is kind of cool the fact that the volume on here is connected with the volume on here it's really kind of a nice thing to do now that's it that's all you need to do now it'll constantly play just from this I'm just going to pause that and that's all there is to it. You, now you can pair your Google Home to a good Bluetooth speaker if you have one. So yeah, it's a nice little feature that they've added. Now, obviously, if you had an aux jack, you could do it that way, but it doesn't. So eh. All right, so there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, if you did, you know what to do. And leave a comment down below and letting me know how you like this series, if you guys like the idea of it or not. I really would love some feedback. And if you guys have any ideas for things that you think would make good tips, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Or if there's anything you want to know, definitely leave a comment down below. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys in this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.